And happy Friday to everybody! Cheers! Hope you all are doing good this Friday. If you had a shitty week, like most of us do, in this shitty economy, today's Friday. It's time for celebrations. Congratulations on Melissa! Oh yeah! Everything went great! <laughs> Gomer! Keep our prayers still with you, motherfuckers. If woke packs always got your back. Cheers! <sighs> Let me bring my beer closer over here. I don't know. I'm gonna be stretching and shit. This ain't about exercising, this is about getting fucked up. Alright! Happy Friday! Let me hear it for you, motherfuckers. I hit it for Super Saiyan Joku, who was here first. I want to have the world! The world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. Ah! 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 Huh? Cheers, Super Saiyan Joku. Thank you for being here. Hit it for my good friend and OG Woke Packer, Gomer Kyle. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pile, I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Oh. Cheers, Gomer. I was, hit I was hitting indies and shit. Uh, let me know if the stream's fucking up. I don't know. It uh, it doesn't say anything over here. It says excellent connection, but I don't get a picture, so... Uh, if it fucks up, Gomer, you guys are in charge. You let me know. I might have to, like, restart it or something. Uh, again, I don't have Google Fiber or anything fancy and shit. I live in the brown neighborhoods, and we're reduced to bullshit. All right? So fuck you. Uh, let me know. It's... All right, I think I know how to fix this. This will literally be one second. There we go. It'll fix, it'll fix. There. I think I fixed it. Chairs. I just had to close all the porn, that's all. Oh yeah, chairs! Don't worry. I think I now know what is fucking it up every Friday. I just have to keep that app closed. That's all. I really don't need it. I had it there just in case, but I guess I don't need it. It's closed. Anyways, uh, of course, uh, got, my hair is stuck on this shit. All right, there we go. Um, we do currently still have the three fucking channels, unfortunately. The Underground Broadcast, our main channel, next week will finally be fucking, uh streaming from there but as of now we're fucking stuck on the emergency broadcast this is the last week stay subscribe if you want to the emergency broadcast but that's just in case we get banned again we'll be back here streaming on this one either way the main channel is where everything gets uploaded so it doesn't matter next week we will be fucking uh streaming from there so it'll be good uh last sunday on the other channel that i made the illegal underground broadcast. Uh, we watched Double or Nothing, AEW, the whole thing. No sound, of course, but, you know, we still had a good time drinking and shit. Uh, I guess the next pay-per-view is Clash of the Castle, but unfortunately, WE keeps selling out, and they're going to show it in another country, some foreign country where they don't speak English. And they're awake when we're asleep, and we're asleep when they're awake. So I have to be working. During the day, when they're showing the damn shit. So that's the second WE shit we're not watching. The next one we're watching will be Forbidden Door. It is what it is. That should be good, though. Forbidden Door is good. 
Uh, anyway, so make sure you keep uh, all that shit subscribing, ass. Uh, let's move on to the comments, motherfuckers. Let's get this show on the road. There's a lot of bullshit, anyways. Uh, remember our social medias on X.com officially. It is Son of Man 665. And on Instagram, IG, it's at the underground, uh, the un underscore, underground, underscore broadcast. A bunch of bullshit, if you ask me. And TikTok, we're no longer uploading shit on TikTok. Fuck you. Uh, long story, they just banned us, and we don't give a fuck about it anyways. Joe Biden's gonna get rid of these Chinese motherfuckers anyways. Hopefully he does it before he gets the fuck out of office. We'll get to that later. Um, I got fucking messages yesterday suddenly on fucking... I was, I was high and drunk. I was over here fucking playing Assassin's Creed and shit. I started getting, like, notifications. And at first I thought I was getting trolled. Yeah, yeah, you know. I thought it was one of these homosexuals that, that got angry at me or something. Uh, I'm, I don't know why they get angry at me. I mean, I'm the one wearing makeup. They're not. Pussies. They call themselves gay. They don't even want to wear the fucking the attire. Sons of bitches. Um, I commit, motherfuckers. Anyways, uh, I thought we were getting trolled. Um, but some guy fucking messaged me. Oh, I'm going to talk about you on, the, on my podcast. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, send me the link, I'll watch it. And I started watching it. And uh some funny shit happened to them. Cause they started they started talking about me. Uh and there he is, Brime the World. That's exactly what I was gonna start talking about. Brime the World 10. He uh they have the pumpkin patch podcast, is what these guys call it. Uh these guys are some serious nerds. Uh they they were pretty sophisticated. They had everything on uh Discord. And people were calling in. And I even called in and chimed in for a little bit and chatted with them. Um, but I just wanted to show you a quick clip of some, an incident that happened to them when they were showing uh, a clip of mine. Uh, and I'll just let the, the, the shit uh, speak for itself. It's shit. Here you go. This happened last night on the Pumpkin Pie Patch podcast. You see how that one says part two? Because part one fucked up, and you'll see why part one fucked up. You have to make part two. Here we go. This is the one that you kept sending. This yes. is the one that you kept posting clips of and everything. Because it's funny. This guy's genuinely funny. Like this. <laughs> uh, the program's a parody. This is not real. Uh, such as just like he gives like a fucking thing. Uh, oh yeah, social medias. Officially, it's called X now. So on X, uh, at to the man six six five. On our Instagram is at the under underscore underground underscore broadcast. That's for the IG. And we're no longer uploading the TikTok. If you want to go to our TikTok, you can go. It's the underground broadcast. But I'm done. Overnight, my videos went from getting three hundred views to getting five or six. Fuck you. They shadow banned us. <laughs> They muted a lot of my videos because they didn't like what I was saying. Motherfuckers. <laughs> then they say I cannot poke Kanye's wife walking around naked and shit. And everyone else posts her pictures of her ass. Why can't I? <laughs> Piss me off. <laughs> Fuck you. TikTok. Anyways, I hope Joe Biden yeah. fucking gets you the fuck out of this country. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I almost just, my computer dropped off the desk, um, don't know how that <laughs> fucking happened. <laughs> Wait, you dropped it? I didn't know that's what it was. That's what ended the stream, my fucking scream went fucking, like, I all, do I all, I, like, oh my god. <laughs> this guy almost broke my computer! Yeah, so, uh, yeah, he, I, I almost broke his computer. <laughs> Anyways, I called in, I talked to him for a while. These guys are cool. They're cool motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, 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 they're, they're badass. Subscribe to Prime the World. He's down there. Motherfucker's a badass dude. The Pumpkin Patch Podcast. Welcome to the Underground Broadcast. Cheers to you, Prime. <laughs> You sound like a like a friend of mine who doesn't talk to me anymore, Brian. Uh, it's this white dude. 
He lives like 45 minutes away, son of a bitch. I know where you live! I could drive over there and egg your house if I wanted to. Uh, but yeah, he, he called me a racist and a Trump supporter. I, I, I didn't even vote for anybody. <laughs> and then he, he called me a racist and a Trump supporter because he was going to go downtown Dallas to the BLM's protest. And I told him, I'm like, dude, you're white. Don't go down there. Like, what if something happens? They're going to they're gonna fucking kick your ass. They're going to beat you up. No, oh, you're you just being a racist and a Trump supporter. I was like, what? Well, whatever, bro. Go down there. You want to go get arrested while they pillage and burn the city down. You dumbass. Yeah, anyways, that guy stopped talking to me. Cause I was too. I was too. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he 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 became really really politically correct. Go figure. Oh well. Anyways, cheers to Prime. Subscribe to this motherfucker and uh, and you know they they do cool stuff. They were like you know going after motherfuckers that dox people. I just learned what dox m meant last night. I didn't know. Uh, so yeah, they're exposing. They're exposing motherfuckers. This channel exposes motherfuckers, and they promoted me for a little bit. So that was badass. Uh, so cheers to them. Make sure to subscribe to them. They're badass. All right, let's get with the comments because we got a lot of fucking comments, like always, taking an hour and shit. Oh shit! I just realized I didn't have the comments open. So give me once. <laughs> Give me, this, is a, this is what I'm telling you. Uh, this is a bad channel because uh, it's very uh, unorganized. Oh, look at this son of a bitch. Jostrevino, you fucking son of a bitch. You're, you're the last comment like always. Oh, I'm going to ring your shit till later. Son of a bitch. I knew it was going to come out. I just knew it. I had a feeling that Houston, Texas, very own Jose Trevino was going to show up. And he did. And we'll get to him. We'll get to him at the end. Because he likes to be the last one. The last word of the day. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, Joe. We love you. Anyways. We're going to start off with... non chill, chill not Ha! Ah, I get it. I'm trying to put like nonchalant. I hate that fucking word, by the way. Nonchalant. You sound like a motherfucking one of these guys who thinks he's better than everybody. Fuck you. Anyways. He says, uh, on the Black Samurais are here. Japan is allowed to nuke us back for this woke shit. Japan is allowed to nuke us just because we nuke them. You dumbass. All right. At any time, they can turn our backs and send us like 70 Gundams. And they've built real ones. They're fucking huge and it walks. Have you seen that shit? The motherfuckers think it's all for show. Motherfucker, they press the button, that shit takes off and flies into the air and comes over here and bombs the shit out of New York. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen one of these days. They're slowly building the robots and shit. We're fucked. Uh, just start learning Mandarin and Japanese and all that shit. You know? Just saying, just saying. Chills! Cheers! No, chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill, chill not. All right, let's see who else is here. Oh, Depots! It's been a while, this motherfucker. Um, he said, great show. I'm in the Philippines now, fucking girls. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Cheers, this fucking guy. Hey, you could be fucking boys, too. That's not a problem. You know, lady boys. Five dollar, five dollar. Oh, yeah, cheers! Send me a picture of them, motherfucker. Right here on, on Twitter. I'll post it here. Over there, you over there with a bunch of fucking lady boys. Oh, yeah. Send me a picture to Twitter. Deep post. We'll post it here. Cheers. Motherfucker in the Philippines. A crazy motherfucker. Hey, tell me if you run into uh, Andres Sanchez over there in the Philippines. Tell him, tell him I said hi. Son of man. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see who else is here. Oh, I, this guy, it's been a while, but I remember this guy. Ora, or Hanamin. Or Hanamin. He's, 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 uh, he's commented before, and I didn't know his name then. I don't know it yet. Um, Quest QAnon. He's a QAnoner, fellas. He believes in Robert Kennedy, still alive. Not the one right now. JFK's son. Still alive, he's gonna come back. Be the Jesus for America. 
Anyways, uh, he puts in the James Gunn throw shade at Snyder. Hashtag fire James Gunn. Hashtag boycott DC Studios. Hashtag boycott WB Warner. And David Zaslav. This communist ass. And hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Even though it's on Netflix because Netflix already paid this son of a bitch $300 million to spend their money not making anything good. Uh, so yeah, he's not he's not going back. Cheers! Or or a Hanamin! I'm probably butchering the shit out of his fucking foreign name. Alright, alright, let's keep going. Anthony Timmons! This hog motherfucker. He says, uh, fucking Joku the Greaser sending me Twitter messages? That son of a bitch. Fuck you. Joku, we're running a show right now. Sending me Twitters. Anthony Timmons on the Puff Daddy is very sorry, y'all. He's disgusted. Yeah, Sean, so are we. Is this fucking guy for real? If this was anyone else, they would have been surrounded by 20 cops beaten, cuffed, and bent over and violated in the back of a squad car. On a better note, congratulations to the Son of Man for his 606 subscribers! Oh, yeah, cheers! <laughs> uh, we couldn't have done it without any of y'all motherfuckers. And everyone who, who, who listened to my advice about making 10 fake accounts and subscribing them to us. Thank you for that too. You know, this channel is completely made out of bots. We have 606 subscribers and only 35 people saw the fucking podcast. So I don't know what the rest of the subscribers are doing. Uh, maybe YouTube's not even showing them the videos. It's not even coming up in their feed. Fuck you, YouTube. They always got, gotta be against me. Why, because I'm brown and I wear makeup? Son of a bitch. Fucking look better than half of the YouTubers out there. And shit. I don't see Melody Mac looking this hot. You know? And I don't trash motherfuckers like she does. The hateful little girl. She's cute though. Cheers, Melody Mac! <laughs> anyway. Cheers to meds. You're the shit. Love you. Uh, he also says in the Diddy Takes Responsibility short video. This guy's dog shit. The only thing he's sorry for is that it was caught on video. Yeah, yeah, you're not lying, a motherfucker. He's lucky that, uh, we're lucky that the, the cameras exist so we could see that shit. You know, back in the day, women got beat left and right no one, and no one saw anything. No cameras, motherfuckers. Can't do nothing nowadays. You take a piss in a corner somewhere, they're gonna get arrested because they got video on cameras and shit. All right, you go drop off a package. You want to steal something? Somebody delivered, motherfucker. The doorbells right away start recording you. They catch you, motherfucker. That guy will follow you home and rape you. <clears throat> or at least I would. Somebody does that to me. <clears throat> <clears throat> just saying, just saying. Oh, that's the Panda Express coming up again. Anyways, cheers, Timmons. Thank you for commenting, you motherfucker. Love you. Oh, Sean Rutherford. Oh, are you related to Rusty Rutherford and shit? Or what was his name? Rusty Shackleford. Yeah, that was his name. Rusty Shackleford. Oh, for King of the Hill. Not the identity that fucking Dale, that Dale would fucking uh, pretend to be and shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. Sean Rutherford on the James Gunn uh, attack Snyder video. Is this satire? Satire. I mean, I know what tire is, but what is satire is? Motherfucker, don't be coming up here with your motherfucking French language, motherfucker. We're in America. You speak American on this channel. You dumbass. Cheers, Sean Rutherford. <laughs> Probably one of the smartest fucking people that's ever commented on this channel. Just to let you all know. <laughs> that's the truth. I hate when motherfucking pussies are all like, 
Why is he wearing makeup? What is he? Why is he talking like that? Fuck you, you idiots. You read the fucking message in the beginning. You'll stop embarrassing yourself in the comments. Anyways, that was a smart motherfucker. Uh, he still questioned it, though. He still questioned it. <laughs> Anyways, Anthony Timmons on the Beetlejuice looks good. He says, I haven't gone to see a movie since Captain America Civil War. That was a good movie. Beetlejuice may be the one that gets me back to the theater. I'm probably looking forward to this movie more than Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't trust Disney. Um... Yeah, I mean, I whatever. I wasn't a big Beetlejuice fan. I mean, I like Beetlejuice, but I wasn't like a huge fucking fan and shit. Uh, so, but yeah, man, it, it doesn't look bad. It looks like it looks like it's a sequel to Beetlejuice. It looks faithful to what the fucking shit was. You know, it's Tim Burton for fuck's sakes. So you know, it's gonna be good. Gomer actually put reply to him and said he's actually looking forward to this. No Alec Baldwin or even better, who used to get coffee. Uh, who used to get coffee to Kathleen Kennedy. Baldwin used to get cow coffee for Kathleen Kennedy? What a loser. He says, hashtag. Live. I didn't know that. Go, man. It's a pretty good tidbit there. Uh, Timmons on the sun hurt his throat with the Sony. Ass. Well, at least Sony isn't Disney. And that's all I can say about that. I'm pretty much over the whole superhero thing. Give us something new already. Yeah. I don't know. Right. We've seen the peak of superhero movies. From here on, it's just trash and money grabs. That's all it's going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gomer, quit jumping to later. Son of a bitch. That's a topic for tonight. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> the Garfield movie. Uh, we are going to talk about that later. <laughs> Cheers, Gomer. I love you. George. On the George R. Martin is lazy fucking Martin video that I made. Rocko, fuck my life. Let me hit it for the Satanist. Where you at, motherfucker? This is where I put you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocko. He says, son... House of Dragon is going to kick arse. George should just give up the rights to his two helpers and let them continue on with the franchise because this guy's super lazy and we're not going to get any quality out of him anymore. Um, I heard about that. He has, like, maybe, fuck, maybe like 10 years ago. No, yeah, I don't even know. It might have been even more than 10 years ago. But this motherfucker got two helpers. And these helpers were basically super fans. Like, these two, it's a guy and a girl. And they're super nerds that have read and know everything about the books that he's written. And so basically all they do is that they proofread his stuff. Like when he finishes a chapter, they read it. And then they correct him and tell him, no, you can't say this because this guy's actually related to this and his great grandfather is this person. So this is not right. Because he doesn't he's written so much shit and so much lore he doesn't remember, but these nerds are so into it that they literally correct him. Uh and that's why he 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 hires these two people. It's a guy and a girl. That's not a bad idea. He should just let them they're so, they're so fucking into this shit and they're so nerdy. They will probably fucking finish writing the book for him and then and, and, and write the rest of the shows like that. This motherfucker's gonna take, gonna die and we're never gonna get anything out of him anymore. Dumbass. Uh, good point, Rocco. I'm excited for House of Dragon season two, but at the same time, I'm like, man, it's gonna end in like nine episodes and then I have to wait another two years to see the next one. Fuck you. I already saw the whole thing on YouTube. I know how House of Dragon ends. All right? I'll spoil it for you because of the spoiler channel. At the end, everybody dies and they kill all the fucking dragons and there's no one left except the children. And so they just decide to marry the, the, the youngest boy uh, of, 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 the, of the blacks and the youngest girl of the fucking of the greens. And they marry them together so that the lineages could just stop fighting. Yeah. 
But by that time, there's no more dragons and shit. They have, like, fucking the smallest little dragon that only grows, like, three feet and shit. So that's why when we get to House of Dragon, uh, uh the, I mean, Game of Thrones. Actually, you get to the Hedge Knight first, and then Game of Thrones. But by that time, there's no more dragons and shit, and they're just myth. Uh, because these idiots fight a war and destroy each other. That's basically the way the series is going to be. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be badass, though. I love it. I love it. Cheers, Rocco. Thank you for that ass. Oh. Holy fuck. Out of fucking outer space. It's none other than Jitsimus Prime. <laughs> More than meets the eye. I don't have an intro for him because his intro is, is AI reading his comment. So let's hear what Jitsumits has to say from outer space for us. Here we go. Greetings, wokest, or should I say dick? Ha 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 ha. I made a funny. Anyways, let's get down to serious, sterner stuff. I heard your show and it was cool. I was really impressed by Mr. Trumpet's comment last week. Very inspiring, especially with the heavy litigation going on in New York. Never have I seen this level of corruption since the quintessens. It seems like your government fabricates propaganda, grabs it and packs it into a nice shiny meal for the masses to consume. Fortunately, evil never prevails and we are standing back and on standby. If needed, Mr. President, I usually save the politics for Gomer and his political ways, but I had to add my cyber sense in. Please forgive me, son, if I sent this message too late. Before I leave, I want to say, son, continue on being a dick till all are one. Hashtag woke pack. Hashtag woke pack for life. Cheers! <laughs> I like this AI. Um, but... I don't know why sometimes it speeds up what it's saying and sometimes it slows it down. It sounds good. I mean, I think it actually does sound like Optimus. It really does. Uh, but Jitsumis, um, I don't know if you actually sound like Optimus or not. You need to let us know. Uh, but that's what I think you sound like. I'm glad you're understanding our slang. The dick doesn't actually mean phallus. Just being fucking guys, you know what I'm saying? Pussy, dick, son of a bitch, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it, fucking alien. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. I appreciate you uh, sending me transmissions from the quintessons or whatever the fuck that means. Uh, cheers. Woke pack for live, motherfucker. Hit it for you, motherfucker, because you are a woke pack member. Gomer Kyle on the Sun Herder's throat with the Sony ass. He says, well, tell this Sony fella to stop grabbing your head so hard when you're blowing him. Because I hurt my throat. This fucking guy. Ah, that's a good one, Gomer. Cheers. <laughs> he says, hashtag. Live. Hashtag. <laughs> Live. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, fuck you, Gober. P.S. You know we're real friends because that's the way we kid with each other. Cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love you guys. You know what it is. Gomer also said on the Amber Rose loves Trump. Let's fucking go. Guilty or not, he's still my president. Trump 2024. And yes, I have proof of this slut too. Cheers. Hashtag. I uh, yeah. fucking Amber Rose and her fucking. Have you seen her clit pics? <laughs> She's on the internet showing her clit, man. No old pictures, but it's still her. Yeah, before she had the tattoos on her forehead like a dumbass. Oh, isn't that the stupidest trend I've ever seen on people? Tattoos on the forehead or on the on the cheek? A, a big tattoo on the cheek like this. That's the stupidest trend ever. Unless you're gonna be a rapper. And fully commit yourself to the art. You have no business tattooing your face. You idiot. Just say. Or you're going to be in the circus. That's acceptable too. If you're going to be in the circus 
or the carnival, the carney. That's fine. All right, rapper, carney, or circus. In other words, you have no business. Oh wait, wait, hang on. MS-13s. Almost forgot. All right. You can be MS-13s, you definitely can get tattoos on the face. Everyone else, you have no right to be getting tattoos on the face, you dumbass. All right, cheers, go bird. All right, let's keep going. Gomer on the Puff Daddy's very sorry, y'all. He's only sorry because he got caught. Trump's guilty. But this wannabe pimp Gomer has video and documents as evidence. Oh, groomer. Uh, has video and documents as evidence on him, but Trump's guilty. Man, fuck the system. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag Trump 2024. Well, Gomer, the reason why that happened oh I get, I get, gomer fuck you these are topics for tonight you're trying to go into comments and shit we're gonna wait for later son of a bitch you always try to pull this fast one on me you motherfuckers just try to talk, talking about shit i'm gonna talk about later you dicks all right super saiyan joku puff dad is sorry he says he's not apologizing to her really after seven or eight years he took her human dignity yeah yeah and a bunch of other shit Emotionally, security was ripped away. He was yelling, take that, take that, take that. Every time he hit her, it's going to take her years to recover. If ever, who knows what else lies with Diddy's lies. More hotel cameras. He's really sorry he got caught at the end of the day. Cheers, Mall Flowers. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. Oh, motherfucker. He is sorry. That he didn't invite that fucking white Palestinian hating executive. Because that's the guy who said he didn't invite me to his orgy. Fuck him. Release the video. That's what ended up happening. Yeah, yeah, that's the real story behind it all, my fellas. Oh, the cunt is fucking here. Let me hit it for this Australian might. feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slop ready, because the cunt is here. Cheers, cut! And remember, it's always... Damn, well, I'm glad you woke up early enough to catch us, motherfucker. They're like Saturday morning cartoons for you over there eating cereal, watching the Son of Man from America. Oh, yeah. You're the shit, motherfucker. Thanks for being here. Next week, we'll finally be back on the regular channel. Just so you know, uh, then the last week will be we, the ban ends tomorrow. Uh, Y'all should find the cunt on, uh, on IG. This guy posts bad ass fucking artwork a digital art trippy ass shit you can sell t-shirts with that ass i'm just saying people would wear it this badass cunt that's all i'll say uh cheers thank you for being here super saiyan joku and the amber rose loves trump <clears throat> he says trump 2024 all day baby i agree with amber for one thing but who is taking advice from amber rose she's constantly making bad choices like forehead yeah, yeah, forehead tattoos. But that butt is gorgeous. That ass is fucking perfect. Cheers, mother flowers. Her pussy's nice, too. She spreads her lips and everything, man. You gotta check out those pictures. They're badass. Cheers. Those pictures are before she had the tattoos. That's all I'm saying. That back then, when, when Kanye was fucking her, and he cheated on her to go get with fucking Kim. A dumbass. And then Wiz Khalifa started fucking this chick. Got her pregnant. Now she gets child support from his ass. That dumbass. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh! It's not... No, it's none other than that orange convicted felon. The trumpets will sound. Let me hit it for this dick. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. 
And you know how we do in this channel. Thanks to AI, we have the president here live tonight to read this comment for us. Here we go, fellas. Wow, what a terrible week I've been having, muchacho. Not only did Sleepy Joe and his cronies succeed in rigging this trial, but I've been having really bad acid indigestion. Does anyone have any Pepsid AC? Anyhow, no worries. I will still go down in the history books as the first president to revitalize the American economy from within a jail cell. Joe, on the other hand, won't even be remembered by his own reflection because he's senile. Keep up the good work. Son of man, cheers to the woke pack. And as always, hashtag woke pack for life. Yay! That was probably the best AI has ever done. Oh! <laughs> he says going down in history as our first president uh, to fix the economy in a jail cell. That might happen. That might happen. You never know. You never know. We'll talk about that later. Trumpets. Did I go, Mer? Talking about shit for tonight. In the comments. Fuck you. Anyway, I'm glad you were, you, you came in here. I know you've been busy all week. Uh, you know, you got the indigestion and now all that trouble. The legal troubles. The woes. That you're in. These motherfuckers got your back. Don't worry. Not me. I don't vote. But these motherfuckers, they got your back. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> He's on reflection. Oh my god. This is a good comment, man. I love you. You crazy asshole. Thank you for commenting. Uh, oh, we got none other than Houston, Texas, very own Jose Trevino. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ok? Oh, yeah. Envidia, puto. <laughs> the raunchiest intro ever. This motherfucker says, What up, you fucking guy? You have to keep it PG because Mrs. Google likes nicey nice. Yeah, this guy gets his comments blocked all the time. <laughs> anyway, it's great show as usual, and maybe my bias is showing, but. The great White Hope Trumpets comment was awesome. Oh, yeah. He said, I was inspired. I was about to round up the woke pack and storm the Capitol. Hey, don't be saying that here on this channel, motherfucker. We get banned. You idiot. Anyways, let me keep going. I have to bleep that out probably for the, for the other version. You son of a bitch. Trying to get us banned. Talking about shit for the FBI. Anyways, I'm definitely going out there. Clip that for my future show. The sun out of context was the funniest shit ever. And your reaction, son, was the pop cherry on the stormy twat. Oh, cheers, Mr. Trumpet, woke pack, and son. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. World order. Oh, uh, yeah, the future world order of the woke pack. Cheers, Hostreña. Love you. Uh, let me make sure that is the last comment. It is. On the sun herder's throat on Sony. Hostreña. He says, uh, classic son, one who should not be named reactions were priceless when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Sony sucks and has not been throating the fans since Spider-Man 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, he who should not be named. Uh, I don't know what he had set up on his end, but every time I did that, he was he hated it because he says, man, you're fucking loud. On, and I was like, I have a compressor and my shit, so I don't know what you do on your end. We have the same mixer, you idiot. 
chairs on the Trevino. He who should not be named. The motherfuckers last night from the pumpkin patch were showing he who should not be named. They were showing a video of him. I had to jump in there in the chat and be like, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> That's why I called in. I wasn't going to call in, but I was like, how dare they show that son of a bitch on and, and try to represent the underground broadcast. Fuck him. And I fucking called in <laughs> on the Discord <laughs> to, to, to stop, put a stop to that nonsense. <laughs> Cheers, Jose Trevino. Oh. All right, all right. That's it for the comments. I appreciate you motherfuckers uh, for, for, for being here and for fucking supporting the channel and shit. We're getting popular now. Other white people are finding us. The pumpkin patch found us and a bunch of other motherfuckers. Some ginger guy and shit. It was pretty badass night, fellas. We're moving on up to the east side, to a big apartment in the sky. Except we're brown, not black. So it's going to be good, motherfuckers. Cheers. Open up another beer for you. <sighs> Whatever you send me to my social media's pictures of your wives naked or your children or dogs or cat in the sky whatever you send me i'll post here so just let me know and shit you know just don't be like gomer kyle sending me pictures of his id and his social security number gomer i'm not gonna put your private information you dumbass uh just send me just you know stuff i'll put it here don't worry about it we don't have a channel so you know we need we need content <laughs> anyways uh you know what let's keep it going motherfuckers you know, usually I take a break and shit, and we're done. And you, know, you take a break, a piss break, but I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm ready to go. So let's get right into the weekly pop culture breakdown. The cut. Please send me it for real. I want to see it. <laughs> Anyways, we're starting this week. We're getting right into it. We're going to get right into the nitty gritty ditty. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know about it. We should be celebrating this. It's kind of actually bad. Uh, no all yes. No all yes for this son of a bitch. This guy doesn't get any fucking acknowledgement. Except he's a sick son of a whore. Um, he's getting sued again, fellas, which brings his total to eight lawsuits. <laughs> he's not getting sued by a bunch of women and a guy who was sexually molested. Well, now, this time, it's a white woman. Some kind of model or actress. I didn't, I didn't even read the whole article. All right, that did not kind of channel. If you want the real facts, you take your ass to some other new rock stars or some ass. All right, this is the jits of it. Some white bitch is saying he drugged. He literally grabbed my throat and shoved an XTC. That's what she's saying. Shoved an XTC pill down my throat and waited till I got high and, and shit and started getting all hot. And then he had his girlfriend at the time, Kim Porter. And by the way, she died mysterious, mysteriously of pneumonia a few years back after dating this son of a bitch. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, when she got high with the ecstasy and shit that he forced down her throat, then he made uh his girlfriend have sex with her and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh and yeah. That he raped her. Dave Dave and 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 that he kept on abusing her, following her around and telling her shit about like, hey, I'm rich and famous and you better do what I tell you and shit. And so now she's coming out and he's getting sued by her too because she's got the courage now because all these women are coming out and shit. Uh, but there are more allegations are coming out because now people are, are talking, you know, in the water coolers and the grapevines and shit. And the motherfuckers that come out and they have said, you know what? I remember this son of a bitch back when he was in college going to a music school or whatever the fuck dancing. You know, he was in dance school. You know, he knows how to move his hips and shit. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, he went, he went to college, right? He was kind of privileged, not like the regular blacks who didn't go to college. He was privileged, and he went to college. And he said, well, he was in college that a bunch of people constantly saw him beat and not 
the Cassie type of beating. That they would see him grab his girlfriend in the hall of the dormitory or wherever the fuck, right there in the middle class, bend her over, take his belt off, and start whipping her ass. The bitch. Calling her a bitch, too. Bitch. And that's how you would train them and shit. Crawl on your feet. Come to me. That was back in college. And people saw him doing that back in college. They're coming out and saying that. Oh my god. Biggie's mom said she is disgusted. She says, I loved that man. But he has to go and confess his sins to his mother. That's the only way this is going to get fixed. Now, now he's not going to confess nothing to his mom. You know what I'm saying? This guy, the way he acts, he might as well not have a mom. Piece of shit. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but his woes, they're getting bad. Because now all his accomplishments in life are getting tainted by this new image. I told you guys, I was a big fan of bad boy. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Because it's bad boy for life. Travis Scott there. Like that and shit. I was a fan. It's gone. It's all gone. All right. It's over. I'll tell you what else is over. The mayor of New York is now debating on whether he should take the key to the city back from Diddy. He says, holy shit. I gave this guy a key that opens any door in New York. Who knows how many women he's raped already. Uh, so he's debating. He hasn't done it yet. He's got a couple of orgies to go to this Saturday night. PDD Estates. Know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, but he might, you know, depending where he has a good time or not, he might, you know, ask for the key back. Yeah. Give me that key. No more raping. Take it away from him. It's shit. Look at these assholes doing Illuminati signs. There you go, the all-seeing eye and shit. The devil, motherfucker wearing red, smiling. Fuck you. Pur purple fucking, his purple tie right there. Hey, I take it in the butt. It's pretty much what he's saying. With Diddy. Yeah. Right there. That key is a dick. That key is a fucking dick. Right there for all of y'all. Oh, my God. I got to drink to this. I don't got cheers, but I got to drink to this because uh, this is just pretty sad. The downfall of bad boy and legacy. It's all tainted now. All of it. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. His woes keep getting worse, fellas. Because now they're saying that all of Sean John's fucking uh, glasses or eye focals or prescriptions or eyewear. Whatever the fuck they call them. The piece of shits that go in your eyes to cover the sun. Motherfuckers. Trying to be all smart with me. All the stores are saying, get them off the shelf. Get the fuck out of here. We don't want no rapist sunglasses. And they're taking them off the shelves. Nobody's selling these asses anymore. He's going to have to go on eBay and sell them by the bundle. Hey, fucking $59.99 for 100 Just random pairs. Fucking try to get some money back for the trial, for the trial, fellas. And like when motherfuckers get busted over here in the hood, then you see the Escalade, the Escalade that you, they're rolling on, on fucking rims and shit with the big stereo. Now it says fucking for sale and it says right here cash right away. We need to get this motherfucker out of, out of jail. We need bail money. That's basically what he's going to start doing, selling all of his Sean John shit for 20 bucks <laughs> trying to make money oh for commissary <laughs> cheers diddy i'll cheer to that <laughs> son of a bitch you deserve it you deserve every last bit of it you dick you let me down you let me down diddy i looked up to you you're my hero it's kinda hard with you not around. I know you in the heaven just smiling down. 
watching us as we pray for you every day we pray for you till the day i meet my friend in my heart is why i keep a friend memories give me the strength i need to proceed the strength i need to believe oh my thought biggs i just can't define wish i could turn back the hands of time oh yeah <laughs> I was a fan you let me down you dick fuck you diddy we're moving on from this dick and this dancing and shit. Think it is cool. A dumbass. We're moving on. Oh shit. Is this how bad this channel is? We're not organized whatsoever. But that's okay. It's raw footage for y'all. Anyways. Yes. You motherfuckers talked about it in the comments. Let's get into it. None other than that orange. Haired, tanned, rapist has been convicted of all 34 counts of paying a whore money for her services. I don't understand how that's a fucking crime, especially when the other party accepted the money in a legal transaction in a state where that shit is legal. But because the jury and the fucking judge and the prosecutors and the city and state this was all held in we're all democratic states he has been convicted of all the charges all of them and he is now set to become not only make history by because he's made history by becoming the first ever president to ever be convicted as a felon ex-president as a felon but he is going to become the first felon to be elected president in the fall. Because what all these dumb woke leftists don't realize is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I go to jail or if I'm convicted. I still get to run in November. My Trump is bad, okay? I didn't have time to get the AI to do it. You dicks. Yeah, he can still run. And everyone I know is voting for him. Idiots. Everyone is going to vote for him. This only makes him look badass. All my neighbors are saying he's a thug now. He's like one of us. He's been in jail. He's going to go to jail. And if he does go to jail, that's going to push people even more reason to vote for him. Now he's a gangster. Running the country from inside the jail. You idiots. This is the craziest fucking time to be alive in this country. That our political system has been reduced to this mockery. Wow. It didn't even feel real. I feel like I'm watching some kind of fucking television show. You know? It's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, there's no doubt about that, that, that this bastard's gonna win. I just don't see how he's not gonna win. All the rappers that voted for Biden have turned on Biden. Cardi B has turned. I made a mistake. All right, Amber Rose is promoting Trump. Little Weezy. All your celebrities who claim they vote Democrat and that they vote for Biden, they really don't. You want to know why? Because they're richer than you and I, and they want to pay less taxes. So they have to, have to vote Republican, you idiots. So they may tell you that they're going to vote for Biden to support Biden, but they're also going to vote for Trump this November. So let me burst your bubble to anybody who thinks that we're going to have four more years of a senile old man running this country into the ground. Further, further into the ground. We're already six feet deep in the ground. We're lucky the Chinese or the Russians haven't attacked us or invaded us. We're lucky Mexico hasn't invaded us. The border is not protected. There is no fucking wall built. And shit. This orange bastard's going to win. And there's nothing you can do to stop him. Throw him in jail. 
cut his legs off. Fucking say he raped somebody. Which they, they already did. He's more popular than ever. Oh. It's going to be a very interesting November. Because the left doesn't have the best track record in accepting losses. And uh, I remember a lot of cities being burnt to the ground a few years ago. So who knows what's going to happen in this November. That's all I'm saying. Y'all stay safe. Buy a gun and lock your doors. All right. Anybody comes trying to make you switch telephone companies or offer you insurance, you shoot through that door. Pa, 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 pa. Fuck you. Trying to invade my house. That's a bitch ass. It's going to be interesting November. Whenever we have the debates, you know, we're going to cover it here, give you all the live f footage. We're going to be there. Finally. So the man's going to report there. That's the questions and shit. We'll be there. Don't worry about it. Uh, moving on. Some more ass. Mike Tyson. God damn it. Had an emergency during one of his flights. They had to fucking pull over the airplane. Pull over! They fucking went down right there in the middle of the highway and shit. They, they fucking ran over a couple cars and killed a few families, but they stopped. It was an emergency. They needed to get to the ground for Mike Tyson. Because apparently, he had an ulcer flare up. And he was in pain. And he has a lot of money. So once the plane was grounded, they wheeled him out there. One of these wheelchairs for old people that can barely move and shit. And a cane made out of wood. They didn't give him a real cane. They gave him, here's a, a, here's a stick we found outside, Mr. Tyson. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not a good at impressions. Fuck you. Yeah. God damn it. He's going to fight Logan Paul next month. He's going to get massacred. I'm fucking kind of angry and disappointed. Because I want to see Tyson beat the shit out of Jake Paul. But how the fuck is he going to do that? If he's having ulcer flare-ups? God damn it. All Paul has to do is give him one strong punch in the gut. And Mike Tyson's going to ask for a timeout. Fucking shit. This was a bad idea from the beginning. Oh my god. I'm very disappointed with this. Tyson did come out and said it wasn't a big deal, y'all. I'm Mike Tyson. And he says, hey, I don't need to be at 100% to beat Jake Paul. I could do it with two ulcers flaring up. The fuck you can, Mike. God damn it. They better pump him full of steroids and horse creatine or some ass. Give him some speed right before the fight. Before they ring the bell. Here, Mike, and pretend they're going to put that, that gel and just shove some fucking methamphetamine up his nose. <sniffs> some PCP and shit. Get in there and beat the shit out of this privileged white kid. Thinks he's better than everybody because you fucking grew up rich. And your parents bought you all the YouTube views and you got famous for it. You ass. You and your other pretty boy. Sexy pretty boy of a brother. Son of a bitch. Very athletic too. I'm jealous. Oh. God damn it. I'm scared, y'all. I'm very scared. I'm still applying for Usher jobs. They don't want to take me. I know why. They're being racist. They say they're fool, but I know they're being racist. They're discriminating because of the way I look. I could sue them, but I don't have money for a lawyer, you know? But I could. They want to give me a job there. I could Usher. Be, watch the fight for free. <sighs> Pray for Mike Tyson. Pray for Mike Tyson. We need Mike to beat Jake Paul. Please, don't disappoint. Cheers, Mike. I'm still rooting for you. Fuck you, Jake Paul. <sighs> mm. 
Nicki Minaj got arrested in Amsterdam? <laughs> no, no, it's not for being black, all right? You racist, you motherfuckers. That's not why they arrested her, all right? They arrested her in Amsterdam for having weed. Holy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because apparently in Amsterdam, if you have more than five grams of weed on you, you can go to jail. Alright, well, I'll just carry two joints. That ain't even one gram. I'll put the other ones in my... That's what I used to do. I used to just put my joints in here. In, in right here. And I'm not playing. I talked to several... And I dropped the joint. Shit. Sorry. I talked to several cops while I had joints just like that inside my bandana. Or in my hair. When I, when I don't have it in braids... My hair's thick as fuck. And I just put my joints in there. They're not going to fall out. <laughs> uh, but let me show you a video because Nicki Minaj took out her phone herself and decided to film this because she thought she was getting discriminated against. She said, they don't like me here because I'm black and I have a big ass. They like skinny women here with no asses. She said, and they, they're fucking trying to be uh, racist towards me. So I'm catching on film and they don't want me to perform tonight on my concert. Here's the video for y'all. Nick Minaj getting arrested. Hello. Yeah. Your Honor arrest. I'm the police officer. I'm the deputy of the public prosecutor. Uh, we will bring you to the police station. What? Yes. For what? You can go uh, because you are uh, carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question here. Uh, I think it's. I'm not smart carrying to go drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. You can go inside. No why, why am I going? I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question here. Uh, I think it's. I'm not smart carrying to go drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. You can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, I right. need a lawyer present now. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. To go to the police station. What, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes away. I'll it's five minutes away. What's, what's the address of the police precinct? When you uh, will catch your next show, we have to do it very fast. And we will help, but... You, you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We talk... That they will help to try to get you there. They'll help to try to get me to yes. my show? So How? Very uh, to do it as soon as possible. But what, can... what am I doing? What am I doing? I you never gave anyone arrest. my... I never... Oh, I'm... oh, so I'm under arrest? Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Okay. Stop filming now. I'm under arrest for what? Okay. Do you Stop know what happened now. when I came you here? You have to go inside. Huh? What you said? Can you please stop filming? Please just step in the car for us. No, I need a lawyer, but I, because I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer at the office. You can contact the lawyer, but if you just step in the car, then we, it will go as fast as possible. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? He will go with you. That is the most nicest and most compliant arrest ever made on a black person. And this bitch is still complaining. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, I have been in handcuffs. I have been in the back of, of police cars in handcuffs. But I have never, never officially been arrested or been in jail. Because I always get let go. Oh, yeah. When you look like this, all you gotta do is play that card. You're racist. They'll let you go right away. Ha ha ha! Cheers! Um. Yeah. So they found a bunch of joints on her in Amsterdam. And she got arrested for it. Ain't that some shit? Oh. Our country is a druggy country. Come. 
and come to this druggy country and spend your money here. But if you come and do drugs, you're going to bust your ass. Why the fuck do you promote your country to be a druggy country? And shit. You're idiots. You're going to be arresting people. Ah, uh, fucking dumbass. Well, she went ahead and she posted this ass on Twitter later. She says that they found weed and another group of people have to come to weigh her, her, her joints because if she has more than five grams, she's going to jail. And she says that she, they took her bags without consent, all her underwear and her bras and all the shit that she's going to wear on stage because she doesn't wear that to sleep. She wears it to perform. All her lingerie and shit. That's for performance. She sleeps in fucking baggy jeans and a big fucking Billie Eilish t-shirt. Just like every other girl. Fantasies aren't real. Porn isn't real. Alright? Bitches don't wear lingerie to go to sleep. It's a lie. She does that to perform. They took it away. They said my security has already advised them that that the joints belong to them. Because that's what I pay them for. When, they, when the cops come, that gun is mine. The security has to say. That those drugs are mine. That, that that's I raped that that woman. She didn't. That's what his job is for. That's what he gets paid for to take the fall. But they still arrested her even after the security guard told him it's my drugs. And then she said that the pilot, the pilot on the plane, wants her to take down her Instagram post. It's crazy. It's a crazy country. Look, all I'm going to say is that that was the nicest arrest I've ever seen. She wasn't even in handcuffs. You know what I'm saying? She was recording over here. They'll fucking throw you on the ground and shit, pin you on the floor. There's rocks and gravel on your face. You're bleeding and shit. Your phone's already cracked and broken. You're not going to be able to access it anymore. Call a lawyer and all that ass. <laughs> Uh, and that was really nice. Everything they did for her and shit. You know, it, was a, it wasn't even a cop car. It was a bus. It was like a shuttle. Look, you got drinks in there and a TV. You can watch a show. And shit. Not only that, but you're a multimillionaire. Like, you're not going to pay a fine and get the fuck out of there. The fuck are you making a big deal about? Oh, I'm with drugs. All right, let's go to, let's go to the, come on. Who do I have to pay? How much money you want, motherfucker? what I would have said. <laughs> Fuck recording. Here. Here, 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 here. Take this Rolex. It's got diamonds on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrest that motherfucker. I pay him for that shit. He's taking the fall. Yeah. Joku, get arrested. Joku gets arrested. That's how I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always... Oh, 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 yeah, fucking Mickey Minaj, fucking be ghetto, try to in another country and shit. <laughs> I need a lawyer, bitch. Not lawyers don't exist in this country. <laughs> that's like if I was a cop, that's what I would have told her. This ain't America, bitch. There ain't no lawyers here. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god. It had been a while, but God bless the gods, because they finally brought us the almighty Yeze! <laughs> and we got some Kanye news, finally. We had been in a dry spell, this motherfucker. The fucking P. Diddy took over the headlines and nobody wanted to talk about this crazy asshole anymore. And I missed it. I love this guy. Oh, did my idol right here. I want to grow up to be like this guy. $400 million worth of genius right there, motherfuckers. None of you. None of you are worth that money. None of the rappers. All those fake motherfuckers, Drake. None of the motherfuckers. This guy has Joe Rogan money. Without being white. So fuck you. Uh, anyways. Joe Rogan money. Gets you privileges. And one of the privileges. That uh, was allowed to him. And his kin. Was that Northwest. Was cast. In the Lion King. Play. 
that Disney is showing all across or you know people are paying money to see this ass and Northwest came out singing the Lion King song oh I just can't wait to be king cuz she's Simba yeah everybody look right everybody look left everywhere I go stand up, stand up, yeah. that shit you know, so she was singing it and shit and you know she's 11 year 11 years of age it's a little girl you know a nepo baby is what they call them I just called them the spawns of talented people and unfortunately track record has always shown that the spawns of talented people are usually not talented and it's not their fault because all the talent stays with the parents because they're the ones making the money they're not gonna shoot shoot it out of their sperms Kanye's not gonna shoot out his genius out of a sperm fuck you it's gonna stay in his body all right and that's the same thing that happens to everybody else all the other fucking famous celebrities have kids their kids end up being nothing that's just the way it is all right the only way you have talented kids who become michael jackson is if you're a worthless piece of shit and you're struggling to survive and you said i gotta give everything into this pussy to make sure something comes out of it good then you get michael jackson all right kanye doesn't need to do that he just needs to fuck that's that's what he did anyways there's gonna be a lot of haters there has been a lot of haters out on twitter and they're coming out and they're saying that this little girl is untalented and she doesn't know how to sing and that fucking that she shouldn't have gotten this and that this could have gone to someone with more talent someone who could sing and all this ass fuck you haters how dare you regardless of the privileges that this child is gonna get in her life because of her father and mother because she will get privileges that none of us will ever get to experience none of us she will regardless of that fact this 11 year old girl this is a, this is like any 11 year old girl who comes out in the, the fucking civic play or the, the the fucking little 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 theater and shit you think they're gonna be fucking talented as fuck you want to know how many kids are talented as fuck to be out there being fucking Taylor Swift or some fucking amazing little girl? It's like one in a million and shit. The motherfuckers don't exist at this age. The fact that she has the balls and the courage to get out there and try. And I've seen, I can't show the, I can't show the music because we'll get banned right away and shit. What to be streaming from another fucking three months from this fucking ass. But anyways... I saw the fucking performance and she sounds nervous a little scared because it's an auditorium full of hundreds of people and she's not used to it the normal 11 year old would fucking perform just like that how dare anybody out there try to criticize this child for what for performing like a child fuck you you fucking pussies you pathetic fucking pussies that want to come out and bash this little girl yeah you're just jealous that you don't have parents that are rich and famous and 400 million dollars worth of fucking money that's what it is you're jealous that you're not privileged like this little girl it's jealousy how dare you man did it did like going to the little theater and seeing someone else's kid go up there and sing and you're gonna be like eh, they could have found someone better someone who sings better and that little girl's got a crooked nose no 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 this is not right at all fuck you the little girl there god bless kanye because kanye you may call him crazy you may call him a psychopath he likes to be called a god because that's what he is you sons of bitches when you're worth 400 million dollars you are a god to everyone else idiots he is also not only a god he's a good father because he was there in the middle of the audience recording video in fact, this is probably from him right there. That's him uploading this shit right there. Somebody took it. That's him. That's his video. Proud father.
There's motherfuckers out here in the hut. They don't even fucking know their kids' names and shit. This motherfucker is in their kids' lives. He drives them to school. He goes to their basketball games. He's over there supporting them. Whatever they want to do in life, I'm there. That, uh, that didn't look like a crazy man to me. That looks like a good fucking father. A good, sane father. A god. Because God loves all of his children. And Yeze loves his children. He is a god. You idiots. We all are. Uh, but, moving on to the main attraction. He did go out after this. And he finally brought out the goddess Bianca Sensori, his wife. They went to Italy and he came out all white. Came out in a, an Assassin's Creed ensemble. And she came out in just fucking underwear. White silk underwear and some knee-high <laughs> boots. And what looks like an apron of some sort. I don't know. She, she wasn't exposed like with her nipples like she, she usually is. She wasn't. Um, but she was pretty much exposed by not wearing any pants. Um, and here's the money shot, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, his Assassin's Creed look looks awesome. I didn't think it was gonna like all white. All white Assassin's Creed. But right there that I see the profile, the hood like that. That looks dope as fuck. <laughs> dope as fuck. Those ass cheeks are nice too. <laughs> Yay Zay! We love you on this channel. We love your wife and thank you for sharing her with us every fucking week. I don't know, you've been missing for a few weeks, but thank you for coming back and showing us. God bless you and your family. You're great. We love you. Cheers, y'all. All right. We're done with the weekly pop culture breakdown. Let's get into what you all been waiting for. The comic book nerd shit. And this week, we're going to start off with a box office upset. Gomer. Because thanks to Gomer Kyle, the Garfield movie made more money than Fruitiosa Mad Max Saga. Bringing in $35 million. Actually, it did make more money in America. It made $35 million. It versus uh, 33 million for the Garfield movie. But where the difference came was outside of America. Where only 32 million dollars Furiosa raised versus 66 million. People all over the world like this fat orange cat more than this alien looking little girl with big eyes. No ass and no tits. Still kind of sexy. I don't know. She's of age. Go figure it out. So yeah, Furiosa ended up with 68 million versus Garfield making a hundred million dollars. You know, I was saying that the reason why Furiosa didn't make money was because fucking uh, uh, nobody has money. But I think that is partially true. Because people in America are obviously suffering. Obviously, people all over the world don't give a shit about Furiosa. So they didn't even bother spending their money. But people in America, if you look at the American, the domestics, they're pretty much close to each other. 35 and 33. That means a lot of people are not going to the theaters right now. That's the real dilemma. It's not a matter of the movie's good or not. It's a matter is like, well, fuck. 
We can only afford to see one movie this month. What are we going to see? A bunch of fucking dirty people in the desert or a fat cat making us laugh. Let's go see the fat cat. And that's what's going on. Plus, people have kids. Nobody wants to take their kids and see people getting decapitated and their hands chopped off and shit and a half. The world is a desolate place. Everything's depressing. Nah, you want to take your kids to go over here and see this ass. That's really what's happening here. Gomer says it was an anniversary and a $5 ticket night. That's the deal right there. If Furiosa never had no $5 ticket night, that's why I didn't make no money. Idiots. Uh, it's a hard times here in America, y'all. I haven't been to the theaters since Ant-Man Quantumania. And before Ant-Man Quantumania, I hadn't been to the theaters since the Spider-Man No Way Home. So, there's a big gap there of movies I went to go see. And the only reason I went to go see Ant-Man Quantumania is because I actually downloaded the Hindi version and we watched it. I showed you, reviewed it here. We reviewed it here with he who should not be named on his channel. Back in the old podcast, we're a broadcast now. But we reviewed it. And we showed you all. Because we downloaded the Hindi version. But I enjoyed it so much that I said, I want to go see a good quality. You see some of this. I want to go high as fuck and go see some of this ass. To see all the creatures and all the weird shit. And I did. I paid for Ant Man. I paid for it. I was one of the the, the, the lonely people that went to because there was the theater was empty, but I went to go see it. Um I'm not paying ever for any theater experience ever again. That's all I'm saying. It's disgusting, it's dirty, the food is too expensive, and it pisses me off when I spend hundred and fifteen dollars. Fuck you. Movie theaters. I wait a month or two. I get a digital, watch it right here naked on my couch. Eating fucking fried chicken. Fuck you. No one tells me nothing about it either. Smoking weed, drinking. I can wait a month and a half. Comes on digital. I ain't gonna pay $150, $15 to go enjoy myself. And not even enjoy myself, because there's gonna be some fucking lady there making noise, or some kids crying, or some, some asshole starting a fight, or some bullshit. Some, some meme, some high school meme. Everybody gets up and starts dancing or doing some gru shit or some asshole. Fuck you. We're trying to watch a movie. I paid for this ass. Nobody wants to go for that shit. That's what's really happening nowadays. And that's what really happened to the Garfield movie and Furiosa. Let it be known right here. Cheers. But let's go on and talk about more travesties. Because apparently Hollywood never learns. And at first I thought there was going to be some kind of the mummy reboot. They start the franchise again with a younger guy. Fuck Brendan Fraser. He's 750 pounds. We need someone hot and shit. Lean. Let's get Liam Hensworth. Nobody knows who he is anyways. No, no. Apparently... They're writing a prequel. How the fuck? You write a peak prequel to the mummy? I thought we already had a prequel to the mummy. It was called The Scorpion King and it sucked ass. God damn it. It kicked off our future president's career as a movie star, but it sucked ass. That was the prequel to The Mummy, The Scorpion King. Don't you remember? You fucking idiots. What is it? A prequel? Oh, we're going to talk about when Brendan Fraser was a little boy and he was interested in the sand and the mummies and this, this ass. Fuck you. Or you'd be like, oh, it's a younger Brendan Fraser 10 years before this, but it somehow it doesn't look like him. Fuck you. They're going to be a failure. And no one's going to go watch this. No one who watched these movies. And I gotta tell you, I loved these movies. I was a motherfucker that went to go see these movies in the theaters up to part three. I didn't go see part three. The one where they went to China. I was like, hey, fuck you. The Dragon Emperor. Fuck you. I don't even give a shit if it is Jet Li. And I respect Jet Li. But fuck you. The mummies. The mummies in Egypt. They gotta take you to China. Fuck you. Samurais and shit. So I didn't even bother with part three. 
But I saw, I saw this one, I saw the part two, and I saw the Scorpion King in the theaters. I gave money to that piece of shit Scorpion King movie. I gave money to that ass. Uh, but I genuinely enjoyed the first mummy, and I enjoyed the second mummy. And the best damn character is that woke-ass fuck motherfucker. What was his name? It was the chick's brother. He was a skinny guy. He was British, and he was super woke-ass fuck. And he was always scared and shit. I forget what his name was. Uh, I love that motherfucker. He was my favorite. My favorite character in all the movies. Fuck Brandon Fraser. Pretty boy. Fucking rock, rock hard abs. Fucking big chest, arms. He was perfect. Perfect tan too. He was like golden, like golden brown. Uh, he was hot as fuck. I don't know what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Big Macs, Whataburger, Donuts, and the best America has to offer is what happened to that son of a bitch. Cheers, Brendan Fraser and the whale. I still haven't seen the whale. I still haven't seen the whale. I like gay man. But I'm not sure I want to see a 750 pound gay man. You know, because that's what that story is about. It's about a really large gay man. I'm not ready for that. I only like, you know, fit, buff, six packs, and shit. Wrestling. None of this. Whale shit. Fuck you, Brendan Fraser. You let me down. You dumbass. Well, you know, I, I don't want to get too mad because I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I've never had that kind of money. I think if I had a lot of money and I could eat more than once a day, I would probably eat a lot. But thanks to Joe Biden, I'm reduced to eating once a day. I got to pick. Am I going to eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner today? I don't know. Let's see when I get hungry is what I say. Fuck you. Anyways, we're moving on. Because apparently, the G.I. Joe X, which stands for cross, in case you didn't know, the G.I. Joe X Transformers movie wants Chris Hensworth, that dumbass, as the lead for their movie. You know, because The Rock can't be involved in it because he's going to run for president soon. And Chad Tatum fucked up the other series. Nobody wants to see his ass anymore. And that other fucking Asian guy who was fucking uh, Snake Eyes in the last movie. Nobody gave a f nobody saw that movie. I saw it, uh, not in theaters. I downloaded it uh, for free with my VPN. I ain't gonna pay for ass, but I saw it. It was ass. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, whatever. I think this is gonna be one of those fucking eye candy movies where the plot's not gonna make any sense. And the characters have no personalities and no acting skills. Slash Chris Hensworth. Um, you know, it's just going to be eye candy. You want a big buff guy with a six pack with a bunch of robots fighting fucking ninjas with swords? Fuck yeah. You know, as long as there's a lot of CGI and explosions, I'll go see it. Not in the theaters. I'll use my VPN and download it once in the digital. I ain't paying for ass. Uh, but I'll definitely see it. And uh, it's not a bad choice, it's not a bad choice, but frankly, I don't think they can afford this pretty boy. Because after being Thor, he come out on the Netflix movie, this motherfucker's probably asking for like 10 million a film now. Fuck you. You don't have the range for 10 million a film, you motherfucker. You may have the looks for 10 million a film, but you don't have the range. So fuck you. Well, I mean, it is a Transformer G.I. Joe movies. They don't need much of a range. You a dumbass there looking like a soldier. Never mind. He's perfect. He's going to get the 10 million. He's getting it. Yeah. Cheers, Chris Hensworth. You fucking lucky pretty boy. Man, some people are just born with all the good genes. So I'm going to say, piece of shit. He-Man has been casted. A movie... That has been being made for the past 25 years since the fucking bomb of the fucking Masters of the Universe with Courtney Cox and Dolph Lundgren who couldn't even speak American when he fucking did the movie and shit. The dumbass. They're finally gonna fucking make Masters of the Universe He-Man and they have casted none other than fucking Nicholas 
And I'm gonna butcher the shit out of this because this guy's a foreigner. They were the pretty boy, the fucking Austrian Nazi motherfuckers over there from the other side of the fucking wall that they tore down in in, in Germany and shit. Fucking Nicholas Gatzilin or some shit like that. Some white motherfucking Nazi name that I don't know how to pronounce. He's the new I have the power He Man. He's not big enough. Now, mind you, this movie has been like 20 years in the making. So it probably won't come out until 2027. I bet. So this pussy has plenty of time to take steroids and eat a lot of meat. And fucking red meat and fucking uh, and, and, and salmon and some chicken. And get some fucking some muscle up here and shit. So you know what? I'm not going to dismiss it just yet. Because... I'm pretty sure he's tall. I mean, I mean, he's big, but he's no He-Man big. But I think, I think there's potential in this fucking pretty boy right here to be He-Man. I don't remember who's gonna play Prince Albert or the little boy or whatever the fuck. I think they're a different actor. This guy's playing the He-Man when he transforms into the fucking buff ass fuck hero and shit. He's definitely got the hair. I'll tell you that. He comes out on some woke ass fuck show or movie where there's some guys and they're spending the summer frolicking naked in the in the in the lake or some ass. I don't know. I gotta download it. I'm gonna download it for sure because uh, it involves a lot of homosexuality. Uh, and I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know if it's a good watch or not. But anyways, yeah, we'll see how this fucking movie even gets made. Because like I told you, this movie's been like 25 years in the making since the last one in the fucking 80s came out. They've been trying to make a, another one, a reboot, since that ass. And uh, the last one, that already had started production and then got canceled. They had started production where they actually had uh, some sets built and some props. And they had the Battle Cat. They had Battle Cat with armor. Uh, I wish I fucking had it here because uh, I didn't know I was gonna talk. I don't know I was gonna remember this and talk about it, so I don't have the image. But it's on the internet, in that kind of channel, you dicks. We're, we're not rich. Oh shit! I'm pressing all the buttons. Exactly what I'm saying. We're not rich and famous, so I don't have a white guy fixing all this for me. There's a drunk, fucking high as fuck Mexican doing this. Well, not a Mexican, but American Mexican. I say American Mexican because I was born in America and my parents are Mexican. I was never born in Mexico. Fuck that country. Disgusting. We need to build a wall. Keep those motherfuckers out of here. Coming over here and trying to take our jobs. Anyways, fuck he man and fuck this guy. We're moving on. And fuck you, Chris Hensworth, you piece of shit. I don't know why the fuck your picture's still there. This channel's going to be run by a... A, a white Mormon sober motherfucker one of these days. He will press all the buttons. Gonna look legit and shit. Gonna have intro music and everything, motherfuckers. Gonna be a what? Coming up next after the break. Yeah, shit like that. But not yet. We don't have the money. Don't worry. Let's get into the ass of the show that you've been waiting for all night. And it's none other than Mr. Jacob Pistola. Translated in English, James Gunn. That dumbass. Cheers! Because we all know that James Gunn did not marry a very sexy, beautiful, half his age, very attractive young lady. He did not marry one. So he has nobody to be having sex with, to be groping, to be giving all his attention to. No, he does not have nothing like that. So he gives all his attention to the Instagrams and the threads and the Twitters and the Facebooks and shit and the X's and all this other bullshit. There be TikToks and all this is the motherfucker all day long, all day long. His his young hot wife is walking around in lingerie, fucking, you know, 
She literally has a fan underneath her pussy trying to throw her, the, her pheromones at him. And this motherfucker's on his phone. IGing and shit. And he has teased the Lanterns show that is coming to HBO Max. And he was with, with some concept art. And he puts, yes, it is true, my fellow nerds. The Lanterns. The DCU series is putting together a crack team of writers based on the wonderful pilot script and Bible by Chris Mundy, Tom King, all oh, the great Tom King, and David Lindelf. A hearty welcome to Chris and Damon Lindelf as they join the DC Studios family. There's no welcome necessary for good old Tom King. Who is a shit, by the way. Everybody, everybody, we love him. Who has been here nearly since the inception of this show. And they show some concept art. It is just some grainy fucking pictures of like a green and yellow lantern. Sinestro's gonna be black or something, and the fucking Green Lantern's gonna be gay there, Nathan Fillman, whatever the fuck, it's all there and shit for you assholes. But you know what bothers me about this? I mean, it bothers me that it's James Gunn, period. I don't like this fucking, this, oh, I'm Steve Jobs, I'm better than you. Fuck you, James Gunn, the fuck you are, son of a bitch. You ain't better than me, pussy. No, what bothers me is that he got David Lindolf, the dumbass that wrote Lost and fucking gypped us of a good ending. He pulled our strings, wrote the fucking series as he went along, making it enticing and at the end disappointed everybody. He's also the same dumbass. They made that Watchmen show on HBO Max that everyone fucking hated. Even the woke people hated this. They hated it. It was stupid. Too woke even for the woke motherfuckers. The lowest rating ass ever. This already is a huge red flag. This is what this dumbass has set up for DC. Oh, here's a guy who is going to give you fucking shit that's gonna get you so excited you're about to come and then all of a sudden they're gonna show you a hairy asshole yeah 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 that's the guy he hired fuck you that was the worst ending to any series and i loved lost i can go back i can go back and watch lost from the beginning all the way up to the episode before the ending. And I could say it's an amazing series. And once you see the ending, it's like, fuck you! I wasted years, years of my life watching you. And that's what you give me. Oh, they were dead all the time. It was purgatory. Fuck you. That's not a good explanation. That explains nothing about the fucking guy that looked like Jesus and the devil. It explains nothing about the cloud or the little boy and shit seeing the fucking the monster or, or he was reading the comic book and the stuff in the comic book was coming out for real. It makes no fucking sense with that ending. You idiot. The biggest disappointment. Well, fuck you. I know Grace Randolph liked it. She's married to that he who should not be named that pussy. He probably liked it too. Fuck you. God damn it. As much as a disappointment as this is. And a red flag as, as this is. It gets even worse. Because the nerds. You know what it is with James Gunn? I'm not the only one that dislikes him. There's some serious motherfuckers out there. That really don't like him. And they go back. 
10, 15 years on his Twitter feed and Instagram and his fucking Facebook. I don't know who has that kind of free time in their fucking miserable lives to do that shit. Do you really hate someone so much you will go back 15 years and find shit on their feed to trash them about? I guess someone out there does. And these nerds have found old tweets of him trashing tons of fucking producers and, and, and directors. And they said, oh, look at this guy. He put the Prometheus trailer because Ridley Scott's, it gives me chills. But I haven't liked Ridley Scott since he made the uh, last movie in 20 years. Thumb and Louise, which I don't even love. So why do I, what do I do with that despite the awesomeness of the trailer? Although my heart is hopeful, my mind still doesn't trust. Hannibal sucked. I refuse to believe he directed Black Hawk Down. And then they found this tweet. Lindolf is close to Satan in my book because the end of Lost. He is Yuri Geller of Storytellers, a total scam artist with no integrity whatsoever and a liar. The guy that James Gunn just hired to fucking write and show run this show. Apparently, here are his true feelings from years ago. Because he also hated the ending of Lost, just like the majority of people did. So there you go. That's the type of person you have running DC Studio. A fucking dumbass who hires people he hates. Oh, this guy wrote a shitty ending to the shitty show. Let me hire him to write a show in my new universe. It's becoming more and more apparent that Kevin Feige probably paid James Gunn millions of dollars to go to DC Warner and destroy utterly destroy the brand and that's probably what's happening here my friends as james gunn is saying i need to support my sexy young wife to keep her happy i need money feige i'll do this for you i'll be the inside man i'll be i'll be the james russo and i'll go over there and I'll destroy Warner for you. I just want some money. Yeah. And I think that's what's going on here, fellas. Feige has an inside spy. He's got his personal fucking Vince Russo in Warner to destroy Warner Brothers. Yeah, yeah. It was a super shitty ending, Brian. Super shitty. But we're not done talking about James Gunn and his teasing because he loves his fucking social media and teasing all his ass that's never going to develop into anything fucking good. But somebody asked him on his threads, Mr. James Gunn, Please wink if you have plans for Deathstroke. I'm waiting for my boy to shine for so long. And James Gunn replied with an emoji winking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what this one Indian nerd is thinking. Dumbass. Son of a bitch. I need to take a hit before I fucking rape this motherfucker. Let me tell you one thing. Fuck you, James Gunn. Because if anybody follows this ass and all the spoilers we've been talking about the past couple of months, it's really obvious where Slade Wilson, by the way, Slade Wilson, this is where Deadpool was born. 
when Marvel and DC were having this war where they were stealing characters and concepts from each other. Because, hello, Thanos and Darkseid and shit like that was coming out. And so they were getting mad at each other. Rob Liefeld decided to say, oh, they're saying we're stealing stuff? Well, let's let, let me steal something. I'm going to take their Slade Wilson, their Deathstroke, and I'm going to make Deadpool. And his name's going to be Wade Wilson. And he's going to be a parody and a joke. And it turned out to even become an even bigger character than Deathstroke well, has ever been. Deadpool. And it turned out to be like a meme for them. Like a fuck you for DC. That's what it was at first. And Deadpool became fucking bigger. So this is where Deadpool comes from. From Destro. From Slade Wilson. Wade Wilson. Same shit. But. It's obvious, James Gunn. What you're gonna do. He's gonna be your villain for your Teen Titans movie. Because we already know the Teen Titans movie is gonna start filming this December. And everybody knows that in every comic book and every fucking cartoon, it's always Deathstroke. I don't know why this fucking 50-year-old man wants to be fighting teens, but that's the way it is in DC. Lame as fuck. Fuck you, James Gunn. It should have been Batman versus fucking Deathstroke the way Snyder had envisioned it in the first place. You idiot. You dumbass. This is just a big failure, man. And as soon as Superman... I can't wait till Superman comes out. So as soon as Superman comes out, everybody will see this jackass for the fraud that he is. And no one, right away, as soon as Superman comes out, and it's a failure, as it will be. No one. They're all the, all the projects... Tin Titans, everything in the middle of filming, everything's gonna get canceled right away. Stop production! Everything's canceled. We're done with it. We're sending DC to Disney, and that was Kevin Feige's plan all along. He sent James Gunn over there to fuck shit up, so then that Disney could swoop in and say, "Hey, you're doing pretty bad. You lost billions of dollars with that idiot James Gunn. How about we buy all those shitty properties off of you?" And Warner will be like, yeah, because we need money. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. <laughs> We're going to get Disney Batman and Disney Superman in the next five, ten years. Just you wait. It's going to happen. Fuck you, James Gunn. And your ass. You dumbass. And you pissed me off. We're moving on. And I'm getting another beer. Here you go. We're going to move on now. To the Sony ass of the show. And this is real ass. Because god damn it. Sony is saying that moving on in future movies, they will utilize AI to cut to cut corners. And make lower budget movies. So get ready to see weird ass looking Spider-Man. With 12 fingers. And suits. That kind of look like Spider-Man. But not really. Because that's what the computer does. The computer's stupid. It's not real AI. It's all like. Oh let me think like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It might look like this. Dumbass. Look at this Spider-Man. He's got all these like weird little fucking staples coming out of him. The fuck is that? His hands is like 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 tentacles turning into a foot or a hoof. The fuck? Ah, uh, this is the future of cinema. I hope everybody's ready for this. We're about to start getting movies. We're not only our background people in the background not even real. It's all digital and shit. We're worried about start seeing movies where the main actors are just not even like it's just gonna be like AI. Some fake person that's never existed or hasn't even been born yet. 
Imagine somebody is born and then they they actually resemble the person that came out in the movie the AI made 10 years ago and that person can sue them. They stole my identity without asking me for permission. Well, well that movie came out before you were born. Exactly. How the fuck are you gonna take that to court? Ah, uh, look at this stupid Spider-Man. It looks like there's ropes. Like the spider on his back is made out of like ropes and shit like like shoelaces. Fucking AI is stupid. And Sony wants to start using it to make its movies to cut corners. Typical Sony. You're already cutting corners with your writings and your fucking bullshit stories. I don't know why the fuck you still employ A.V. Averitt over there. That old man needs to fucking take his ass, his fucking fan fiction, and his old ass home. Dumbass. Making your Madam Web. And you're craving a hunter who doesn't hunt animals. He protects them and he's a vegan and shit and votes for Vibber Biden. Fuck you. You're ruining all the characters, you idiots. God damn it, Sony. <sighs> I'm not gonna cheers to this. I'm drinking to forget. Fuck you, Sony. God damn it. Sometimes I don't want to do this podcast any broadcast anymore. Because I feel like just sending me down the wrong path. I'm becoming more of an alcoholic and a user because of this ass I cover. God damn it. Now I gotta light another one. Fucking shit. Here it is. Right here. The destruction of the Son of Man. Thanks to Sony and Marvel. And James Gunn. Sons of bitches. Anyways. Something good did come out this week. And everybody's been hyped about the Deadpool and Wolverine. But god damn it. They pushed this to another level. Welcome. To the Popcorn Wars. Because everybody been excited about the Dune popcorn bucket that came out when Dune came out. Well, now Ryan Reynolds has made Disney make this Wolverine popcorn bucket. Disgusting, scary as fuck looking thing. It says designed by Deadpool. And it's a big open mouth of Logan. And then the commercial for it. It's super fucking horny. It's like come all over his face and shit. <laughs> Being butter. <laughs> fucking Ryan Reynolds is a mad genius. Cheers. <laughs> this is probably going to cost you $40. You know, the regular popcorn bucket, the big popcorn bucket is like 15, 20 bucks. They're going to be like $40 because you're going to get to take this ass home. Yeah. You get to take it home. This plastic piece of shit that's harmful to the environment and is never, never going to biodegrade. Yeah. It's going to cost you 40 bucks, And everyone in that theater is going to have one. Wow. Do you realize what this is going to cost? Because we already had dune do their disgusting bucket that i'll be scared to even stick my hand into it but now this that is just like crazy nonsense you're like something out of like fucking cartoon network and shit it didn't even look real but it is this is gonna cost every studio to make their own crazy popcorn bucket every time a movie releases we see the Craven the Hunter. You're gonna see like a lion bucket and some ass. Some Spider Man shit. Every movie that's come out now is gonna have some kind of special fucking $50 popcorn bucket piece of shit. You wanna know? A handful of those kernels of popcorn literally cost you pennies and they fucking throw it in there to make you your fucking $50 popcorn bucket at the theaters. That literally cost him like 10 cents to make the popcorn that 
pops up and, and, and blows up for you. Oh my god. Talk about one of the biggest scams that has ever been pulled on a fucking public. The movie theaters. That's so fucking horrible. This joint is so full of resin at the end. I can't even smoke it anymore. So I'm switching over to my lizard. Ryan Reynolds and his mad genius ideas are not even over. Because he's pushed it even further, my friends. And they've teased a second popcorn bucket. And I mean tease it because they don't show it to you completely. But I know what it is. And I'll tell you. It's baby Deadpool. He's going to be in a baby fucking seat. Like a seat for a baby. And on one side, the seat it's going to have for your drink. And on the other side, it's going to hold a popcorn, as you can see it. And on the little seat, it's like a little bucket, but it's like a little seat instead of a bucket. There's going to be a little toy baby Deadpool sitting under with his little, with his little bottles that you see there. Because he has two little baby bottles. That's exactly what they're going to... Another $50. And everybody's going to buy the Wolverine one. And then they're going to spend another $50 on this other ass. So you already spent $100 on just popcorn. Another $20 on your ticket. Another $15 on your drink. And then the rest of your family. That's $575. For a fucking Saturday night. Fuck you. Marvel and Disney trying to get billions off of this movie as much as they can. Did the only movie, the only movie we're going to release this year. We're not releasing no Marvel movies. You're going to see Sony, Madam Web, and Craven the Hunter, and Venom, a bunch of ass. If you want to see Marvel, they're the only movie, so you better go to it and spend hundreds of fucking thousands of dollars with your 20 kids and shit. Yeah. They're going to be a money maker. I'm mad about it, but only because I can't afford it. I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> I want this baby Deadpool <laughs> sitting in a seat and shit <laughs> with baby bottles. I don't know about this Wolverine ass. This shit kind of just, it, 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 just just scare the crap out of me. It looks scary as fuck, this Wolverine shit with an open mouth. And it even has a tongue in it and shit. That's just weird as fuck. Fucking Ryan Reynolds is crazy. Come up with some ass like that. Look at that shit. <laughs> uh, but the dead baby Deadpool for sure. I would pay money for it. If I had it. Fuck you, Joe Biden. Son of a bitch. Uh, anyways. Enough of the Deadpool. We're going to move on to some real ass. Marvel ass. And guess what, fellas? There was a test screening. Finally. For a movie. That was already finished shooting. And then was reshot. A few months ago. Showed you pictures and all his ass. They reshot it. Well, they finally showed it. Oh, and they deleted a lot of characters. You know, from it. Took about it a little bit. But they finally showed this. To a test audience. And they hated it. It was none other than Captain America Part 4. Brave New World. Where they're fucking fat. Anthony Mackie. as Captain America. We already heard all the rumors coming from Doomcock. Saying that this movie is a disaster. That Anthony Mackie fucking hates being on the set. That they never actually ever had a script for this movie. They literally gave the director a few pages of scenes and bullet points. And everything was improvised. And Mackie had a breakdown. Throwing chairs. And saying this is bullshit. You want me to improvise? Where's the script? What is this movie about? What are we doing? Fucking ass. Because of this bullshit, we're going to be back here in months reshooting 
because no one knows there's no direction here and they did come back later and reshot it well now this new movie that completely took away the serpent society it had seth rollins it had like uh, that little girl, that Mexican girl, it had a lot of fucking people being the Serpent Society. They completely, supposedly cut it out of the whole movie. No longer there. Even though they paid people, they paid actors to show up. They took it away. Well, now this new movie has tested poorly with test audiences. And they're going back to reshoot it. Again. Oh my god. This is going to go over budget. Probably more than the Marvels. Which was a complete and utter failure. It actually made less money than the piece of shit Flash movie. That Ezra Miller did. The Marvels with Brie Larson made less money than the Flash. This movie is going to be another Marvels. It's going to be another fucking... 400 million dollars down the drain because of all these reshoots and paid actors that you not did you completely cut out of the movie just paid people fucking money to, to completely ah oh, we don't need them anymore let's just cut them out of the movie why the fuck did you even pay them to come in and film scenes then idiots but don't worry because some of these new reshoots are going to improve the movie they're saying because none other than Giancarlo Desposito is coming in to film. We've all been saying that he, he has been going on Twitter and Instagram and all this ass saying he wants to be Charles Xavier for the X-Men. We theorize that he could be Dr. Doom. And now they're saying that he is none other than one of the villains because we know the leader a Hulk villain in a movie that involves no Hulk but has the Red Hulk in it the leader is going to be the one of the fucking main villains but this is another side villain and we don't know who it's going to be but we do have our very first look at the stunt double in costume and an actual drawing from a toddler that was on set because their parents took them and they drew what Giancarlo Desposito is supposed to look like, his character. So here's the stunt double. Some guy in some fucking commando pants and a black fucking shirt. Just whatever and his gray hair. And here's the child Pretty much drawing the same thing, stick figure. But he puts like knives across his chest, a gun on his holster, and an axe, and some kind of cape. <sighs> Man, I want to say like three years ago. We had pictures of real spoilers. We spoiled the entire Spider-Man No Way Home movie. We had concept art of the way stuff was going to look before it came out. Fuck you, Marvel and Kevin Feige suing Reddit and 4chan and all these people. Because this is what we've been reduced to. Drawings of a toddler for spoilers. This looks like Blade with Superman. I don't know what the fuck. You know what the worst part is? This resembles no character. No character. From the motherfucking Marvel Cinematic Universe. Whereas Giancarlo Desposito was campaigning to be Charles Xavier. And, and he wanted Denzel to be Magneto. And he wanted to be a prominent badass figure has been reduced to being some side villain nobody a soldier mercenary some fucking old motherfucker who doesn't like captain america with a cape basically moff gideon 
that he already played in Star Wars? God damn it. A waste of an actor. A waste of money. And, and uh, frankly, it's going to be a waste of your money if you go watch this movie in the theaters. Don't watch fucking Captain America. Fuck you, Kevin Feige. You're ruining everything we once loved. You idiot. <sighs> but speaking of that drawing, because he kind of did look like Blade. This child, well, not this child, that drew, well, that child drew that drawing or whatever. He looked like Blade to me. But so we're all talking about Blade. Ah, we already talked about that Blade has gone significant rewrites. It has been delayed. It was announced five years ago. Mahershala Ali came out with a cap with the logo on it. We thought the movie was coming out next year. It's been five years and they haven't even started production. They said they're going to start this fall finally in Mexico shooting. The old script, which Mahershala Ali almost fucking quit on them. Had him, Blade, reduced to some kind of third secondary character where the main character was actually his daughter. His purple-haired, lesbian, democratic daughter. BLMs, supports Palestine, all that ass. It was going to be in there. She was going to be the main character. And the bad guy was Mia Goth, who was going to be a demon, vampiress, called Lilith, who wanted the blood of his daughter so that she could make an army of daywalkers so they can take over the world. Meanwhile, Blade is training his daughter, teenage daughter, so she can take over the franchise probably after he died in the first movie. Following into Young Avengers, which is really just girl Avengers, because that's all the Young Avengers is. It's a bunch of fucking little girls. There's been no boys introduced for the Young Avengers. There's only been little girls. That was the plan. And Mahershala Ali was quitting on these sons of bitches. Before they rewrote the movie and said, we're, we're rewriting it. Don't quit. You'll be the main star. No more lesbian little girls. Woke as fuck shit. Pro-Trump. This movie will be pro-Trump. And Mahershala Ali said, okay, I'll stick around. But you're ready to write this shit the right way. They wrote a new script. It was going to start shooting this fall. Here we go. They are looking for a new writer to rewrite this. Two months before they start shooting. Because Kevin Feige's not happy with it still. Oh my god. Or maybe Mahershala Ali is mad. He says, fine. I don't want to be second fiddle to a teenage girl. I'm the main character. But the villain... He said, the villain better be a man. Fuck this Mia Goth, Lilith. They said Mia Goth will still be Lilith and will be there. But the main villain is now being written as Count Dracula. Wah, ah, 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 ah. Or, as I like to say it, how unoriginal. Oh, the villains. They did that already in Blade 3, you dumbass. The villain is Dracula. Fuck you. Nothing original. They are saying this movie's going to be R, and Kevin Feige has strictly told them there better not be any jokes or he that Marvel humor everybody likes. He doesn't want any of that shit in it. He wants this to be dark and scary and gory and rated R. This is a failure from the start. And I'm telling you, 
It's only a matter of time before they say this movie's being delayed two more years. And Mahershala Ali is no longer Blade. Because he is sick and tired of this bullshit waiting around. That's what's going to happen. Fuck you, Kevin Feige. You're ruining Blade. Because he's black. You're racist. Fuck you. We're moving on. <sighs> to the final piece of, piece of ass. And I mean literal piece of ass. Because last week we had said that the nerds were confirming that it was actually Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift that had come out and that Marvel had reached out to her and said, we want you to be the blonde phantom. We said that was probably a better idea because she would get more clicks and more views and shit. Well, now the nerds, the same nerds that reported that it was Taylor Swift who was up for the role. Now the same nerds are coming out and saying, oh, it was actually Sydney Sweeney. Fuck you. We literally said that three weeks ago before the rumor of Taylor Swift. We said when they said, oh, they're doing a blonde phantom. I said, I bet you this channel said it first. I bet you it's Sydney Sweeney because she's built for it. Literally built to be this row. Look at those titties. They're the same size and shit. The look. It's the same look, the blue eyes. You need to blonde her hair, that's all. And she's already been blonde in other movies and shit. This little girl is perfect for this. And fuck you. Now these nerds want to come out and say, Oh, we have the scoop. Fuck you. The underground, the underground broadcast said this weeks ago. You dicks. Try to come up here and steal our clout. Motherfuckers. Fuck you. I told you it made more sense to have this big titty, dumbass, no good actress to be the blonde phantom. Because that's basically what the blonde phantom is. The blonde, dumb, doesn't know how to act. I'm sexy and have a gun. Fuck you. That's perfect. Taylor Swift. Fuck you, Taylor Swift. You're going to be Lady Deadpool in one scene and you're going to get her head chopped off. And no one's even going to know it's you except for your voice. Because you're never going to show your face. You're going to be wearing a mask. That's Taylor Swift's role in Deadpool 3. Everybody's going to be disappointed. It's not Dazzler. Fuck you. Sydney Sweeney will be the blonde phantom. Let it be known. The underground broadcast said it first. Fuck you. All you other pussy ass channels who are now coming out and saying it. We said it first. We guessed it before you fuckers came out with your spoilers and shit. Fuck you. Uh, anyway, I'm done. I'm angry. My blood pressure is up. And I need to pee. So that's it. I'm done ranting for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and leave you all with a little bit of life advice. To take home for the evening before we call it a night. And the life advice for this week is... Don't do what Diddy did. Plain and simple. Don't be drugging women. Don't be spanking women with belts. Don't be abusing women. Respect women. Don't be a titty. The best life advice I can give you. Just because you have money and power. Doesn't mean you can abuse it. You can have money and power. And still be a good man. Or... At least not get caught. Cheers! I'll see you next week. What the fuck, man? Fucking running like lady, eh?